Masa here, live in Chicago, about to get kicked out of his hotel room for playing a 1958 Harvard, almost at full volume. I assume the knock at the door will be coming within 35 or 40 seconds. But until then, uh, let's check out um, this newly acquired all brown, well not all brown, um, brown top, one-off, factory, Gibson Les Paul standard that I... Uh, bought from Mr. Grun uh, late last week and I thought it would be a good idea um, because we do deal in the conversion culture. Oh my god, it's got P90s. It should have PAFs. And I thought it would be a good idea today to uh, just kind of uh, do a just a thumbnail comparison of, of you know, a P90 guitar and a PAF guitar and you know, I'm a fan of P90s. I really like P90s even though I use mostly um, humbuckers live. Um, but um, every time I plug into a P90, I just go, why aren't these worth more than the PAFs? And um, so as a, as a little bit of a comparison, um, I brought along some friends. And let's put that down there. And let's grab this guy. Oh, sorry about the snake bite. But uh, it's a nice guitar. 1959 Les Paul, original factory humbuckers. Um, has a nice little patina to it. And been beating the hell out of it uh, for the last couple of weeks on the road and it's actually a lot of fun. So we'll play in the key of A. Again, I'm not, I'm not really bashing at it because I'm trying not to get kicked out of this very nice hotel. So check it out. <laughs> And then we'll go back to the P90s. One more blast. Should disturb the neighbors. Ah, proves it's real. <laughs> sound uh, the PAS have a little more output as you would expect being a double coil pickup versus a single coil pickup but generally you could rule the world with this too as well you know and you know you see a lot of really nice old gold tops getting carved up and uh, turned into conversions and I think it's a good idea if you have a basket case guitar that's just too far gone but to take a real nice one and carve it up for for to in chase of that sound that's just to my right you're not getting that much more sound for the amount of history you're destroying and the amount of uh, money that you're going to sink into it, you know. So my advice is just play the guitar, enjoy them, turn the amp up a little bit more if you have to, and, um, you know, just treasure these things for what they are, pieces of American history. And a lot of times, you know, um, we're custodians and 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 protecting these things for future generations. So there's Pontificus Maximus for today. And, um, you know, thank you very much to the Les Paul Forum and Charlie Daughtry, who is so nice in posting these videos because I am 100% completely inept at all things digital. Matter of fact, this is Panavision, not an iPad. Cheers, guys.